we were invited by the um, university and George Cartwright, who's the master planner for the campus, to develop an, an entry gate um, element, which is also a guard booth for the, the main entry to the campus. And we were, this is a, a tiny building that houses one person who walks out and looks at uh, people entering and leaving the campus, checks their IDs. So the function is very minimal on, on that level, but it's also a symbolic form iconic form for the entry to the campus. So it marks uh, the um, point of entry uh, on the, the original side of the campus. This is an, uh, the building is really developed out of a concept of an extruded um, structural form of folded metal to achieve a kind of um, gauze-like um, uh, quality, sculptural quality, uh, through this simple use of a skin surface of, um, bent stainless steel. Um, we were looking at pleating and folded fabrics and um, various artwork. The middle image is um, Mesoamerican skirts in section, which shows you some really interesting um, arrangements of pleats. And so our, our interest here was really very focused on this idea of folding. Ultimately, we developed a kind of taxonomy of form which we used to develop the the material um, or the um, geometric armature for the material development of the skin. And here you see a series of nested circles which are um, ultimately extruded um, conical forms and how their nesting would produce a path for a planar surface to move through. And then this project went through design development before it went on hold, so I'll show you a little bit about that. But here you see the, um, the generation of the form, which is really the idea of nesting these geometry, geometries together, creating tangential relationships between the cones, and then tracing through the surface of the, um, of that um, shifted from one cylindrical form to the next. Ultimately, that generated this curve of, this curving um, stainless steel rib uh, structure which had the potential to cantilever up. And then we broke that down into sub-panels for fabrication purposes so that it could be bump molded in a fairly conventional way, producing each piece from a pattern. That's the patterning that we got into. And then the, I think one of the more interesting things was just the, the sectional quality of the plan how these folds um, sort of reveal the undulating surface at different levels. And now what I'm going to do is read a short statement. And I, I'm going to try to really quickly summarize our ideas about form and environmental response, and, um, and then talk about the temporal field. As the work of EJA has evolved over the past 10 years, the firm has developed an approach to design that we call polyvalent. In the simplest terms, we want our work to be diverse, adaptable, and capable of addressing a broad range of issues. We believe that if the profession of architecture is to remain relevant, then the practice of architecture needs to become more plastic, not simply in terms of the appearance of buildings, but in how they are conceived 